it is so needed. Just the state portion to remove the tax, food tax. It's so needed. New at 6 tonight, a rally on Capitol Hill to get rid of the state food tax, demanding action with just weeks left in the legislative session. Yeah, Utah leaders say they're discussing what to do about the food tax. Thanks for being with us tonight. For many, getting rid of it can't come soon enough. Daniel Woodruff live tonight at the Capitol with this story. Well, public pressure is really building on the legislature here to do something about getting rid of the food tax. One top lawmaker today confirms they are listening, they want to do something, but it may not come right away. With bread and cookies in hand, this group took their cause to the front doors of the House of Representatives. Um, which bill are you referring to? I don't know the name of the food tax. Yeah. Certainly you should know. They want the state portion of the sales tax on food gone. When it's a luxury to put eggs in your top ramen, it's a problem and people need to be heard. Two bills on Capitol Hill would eliminate the food tax. One from a Democrat, the other from Republican Judy Weeks Rohner, who's pushed this before. It's like that little train that says, I think I can, I think I can, and we get closer and closer to that hill and we're going to go over it. You yourself are supportive of this tax going away. I am. I'm supportive of it. As long as we can have the, the flexibility that we need to allow it to go away. Mike Schultz, House Majority Leader, says the state constitution dictates how sales tax money must be spent. He and other leaders are working on a way to change that, but voters would have to make the final call. Our goal is to get it past this session that it would go on the 2024 uh, ballot. So that's, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're hoping for. So we'll see what happens. Mom of five, Melissa, from Syracuse, hopes it will. I mean, $8 for 18 eggs is, is ridiculous, and you know, that little bit more would make a big difference. So we'll see if lawmakers here on the Hill come to some sort of resolution on the food tax before the end of the session, which is now just over three weeks away. Live on Capitol Hill, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.